Okay, this is going to be my video on um, how to support Rowdy Piper and help cancer charities. Um, so I'll read a little bit about the article in a minute. But what I did is I went to the grocery store and I got the iTunes card for $15 because I don't like how iTunes tracks everybody's personal information. And um, I have my iPod. I think it's a G4 Touch. And it's not gonna. I'm pressing the button and it won't wake up. There we go. Gonna press it 25 times to wake up. Now I have it upgraded here. You can see to a six. It was a a five, a generation four or five iPod. If you go and you get iTunes, um, iTunes is is a free program, and it will find all your software that you have on your computer. And if you have one of the older iPods touches, it will load it on there. Um, so there is an option to upgrade your software and if you have enough memory. So what I did is I just um, got rid of a lot of my music, synced my iPod, which will get rid of uh, a lot of the music that you have on there and make enough room for your new operating system, which will need just a few more gigabytes than the original. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. I'm just showing that I have a generation uh, 5 iPod with operating system 6 on it. Okay, so all right. What you're going to do is if you if you want to do it the way I did it, you're going to do that. If you got an older iPod touch, you're going to go to a uh, grocery store. I went to Mars. This was by the um, Hallmark card section. Okay, on the back is a little silver strip. You peel it off. There's a bunch of numbers. Okay. There's two ways you could do this. I had a little bit of problems, but once I, I got my my um, iTunes ID entered in properly, it worked just fine. If you go to iTunes on your... Um, if you go to iTunes on your phone, I don't really understand sometimes how... how operating system works it's kind of it's kind of retarded sometimes I just want to go to iTunes I don't want to search anything it's really laggy today um, I've already signed in here but uh, once you sign in on iTunes, there's some directions on the back of the card that kind of explain it better. Um, you can open iTunes on your PC, click the iTunes Store, click Redeem, scratch off the label and enter the code, download your content. Or you can tap iTunes on your iPod Touch, um, scroll to the bottom, and all the way at the bottom is a Redeem button on the iTunes Store on the iPod which still hasn't come up. If you see there, it still hasn't come up. Um, scratch off the label, which I have here. Enter your code and download your content. All right, so I have $15 on my, on my card. And um, so <clears throat> you can search here, I already did. Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And iTunes is just being as difficult as it can. And then you're going to see right here, it's, a, it's $2 for this thong, song. Rowdy Piper and the Queen Street Band. Okay, so I have, plus there's a bunch of other stuff on here that I don't really know what it is. Probably older music or, I don't really know. But there'll be a lot of other stuff in there if you're interested in Rowdy Piper. Okay, so... Here's the article is here. Roddy Piper teams up with the Queen Street Band to help cancer charities. The greatest villain in pro wrestling history just released the most genuine and heartwarming charity single of the year. That's right. Roddy Piper declared the number one villain in sports entertainment history by the WWE last year. Recently parted up, partnered up with Alan Snoddy and the Queen Street Band, an all-star group featuring musicians from the E Street Band, Sam Roberts Band, and to choose to record and release the autobiographical Off the Top Rope. 
The song with along with the B-side written of the Canadian hero Terry Fox is available for download on iTunes now with all proceeds going to cancer charities. So it's a dollar ninety nine and all the money goes to cancer charities. So here's the thing, as I was having a stupid argument with somebody the other day about supplements. I don't have sixty dollars a month to spend on supplements, but I can go to the vitamin store and I can get supplements for five to thirty dollars plus an iTunes cards and have a little bit of money left over. That's a pretty good deal to me. I mean, people try to sell me stuff all the time, you know. You're not going to sell me $60 for supplements, but you can sell me a $2 song to help people with cancer, a $15 iTunes card, which I can use to buy other applications on here. I would suggest a GPS map is really good. If you get lost or the shit hits the fan and you need to bug out, I got a map on here. What's it called? GPS Drive. I might get one for walking, plus a few other songs. I mean, at one or two dollars a song, you can get ten or fifteen applications and songs, plus vitamins and supplements from the vitamin shop, and have ten or fifteen dollars left over. I mean, I, that's enough money to go to the movies, right there. Who can't afford that? I mean, I'm broke as shit. I live in the ghetto, and I'm not trying to sell it or anything. But I mean, really, who cannot afford that? Who cannot afford that?